is BNN. I put my balls against the wall. In the end, her ass was fatter. Sorry, I got a little uh, got a little excited there. Welcome back to Bias News Network. First segment up is political news with everyone's favorite tag team of stubborn conservative and hipster liberal. Earlier in the month, Dr. Fauci had a bunch of emails that got leaked, and this resulted in him and President Joe Biden holding a press conference that was basically them backpedaling to try and convince the people that there was nothing going on. This is clearly some kind of big plot that involves the Chinese government somehow. Yeah, well, you're a racist. Yeah, well, you're a communist. Oh man, and who says that vaudeville is dead with a couple of ass clowns like them? But we almost forgot to mention, it's June, which means that it's Pride Month, so a lot of companies are temporarily changing their logos on social media to show their support for the LGBTQ, as well as trying to market to another demographic of people they think they could sell shit to. What? That sounds like exploiting a group of people for profit! And it's just another example of the gay agenda! It's a little thing that political scholars like to call pink capitalism. It's economically right, but culturally left. If you want to see a video that explains this kind of thing, I highly recommend the JREG video, Pink Capitalism Month. Uh, it, it does a very hilarious and educational job of explaining the subject. SpongeBob is gay? You get off easy this month. But next up, we got the weather. Boy, what's up? Well, it's certainly heating up for summer, so it seems like for anyone that has a pool or is near a pool, it's definitely pool season time. Fantastic. Great to hear. Next up, we got sports news with a bunch of teenagers that work for, like, nothing. Well, in this month's sports news, Turkey and Italy went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a game of soccer. Floyd Merriweather and Logan Paul had another fight where no one really knows who the winner was. And lastly, Aaron Rodgers is still better than Tom Brady. Well, actually, no. What I was about to say was... Nobody cares, all right? You know what? You got a mouth off like that? You're fired, all right? I want y'all to pack up your shit and leave. Aww. God. Last time I hire unpaid interns. God. Next up is entertainment news. Just cut over to that. Okay, well, first up, we have promotional footage that came out for the iCarly reboot and the second Space Jam. It's definitely going to be like a Girl Meets World thing with me, and that everyone is probably going to love it, and I'm just going to be incredibly indifferent and not really care about it. Recently, Netflix announced two animated shows that are coming to their network, uh, a He-Man reboot, and more interestingly to me, uh, a new Cuphead series, which looks pretty good. There's recently been a list of new remakes and reboots that are going to be coming out soon, and these are obviously going to be reboots and remakes that everyone's going to want to see. I, I definitely know this is a fact. Uh, the reboots include, let's see, Batman, uh, Superman, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, uh, Catwoman with Halle Berry. Flintstones, possibly gonna be produced by Fox and it's more than likely gonna have the cast of Family Guy in it because of course. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Hunger Games, Abbott and Costello meet the Wolfman, uh, the 1987 World Series, and they're also talking about doing A Mask 2. Thankfully, this time they're going to try and get Jim Carrey to come back instead of replace him with Jamie Kennedy. And lastly, in entertainment news, E3 happened recently, and at E3, it seems that there is a new Final Fantasy coming out, but it really seems like Nintendo is what swept the crowd this year. With the announcement of a new Zelda game, Danganronpa is now going to be coming to the Switch, as well as Plumbers Don't Wear Ties indirectly. I don't know why in the hell they decided that. And lastly, a character in Tekken is now going to be in Smash Brothers. Oh man, uh, you realize that we forgot to mention that Pokemon Snap dropped last time we did one of these BNN videos? Yeah, I, I'm aware. I, that was a that was a, an error on my part. I apologize for that. Yeah, yeah. No offense, man, but um, you fucking suck at this, so I want you fired. I want you to pack up your shit, and I never want you to come back to another BNN video. Really? I'm fired? <laughs> Great. I didn't even want to be part of these stupid Bias News Network videos. I d Thank you, Swigga. I'm out. Peace is everybody. Bye. Damn. I thought he would be bummed about getting fired. Son of a bitch. I also just realized we're down to like three people for these videos. Um, shit.